Hi Gemini, welcome to your March general tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you for March, whatever energies need to come out. General Collective, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, General Collective reading. Please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. If it makes sense to flip switch energies around at any time, you definitely can do that. Cross watchers as well. If you're wondering how a Gemini is doing. All right, Gemini, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. March, what do we have for Gemini? Poised. We have 48, which is 12, which is 3, growth, expansion. So this is about remaining uh, confident, um, stable, grounded, not getting out of sorts, not overreacting, just being very elegant and uh, strong and stable and not losing your cool is kind of what I'm feeling here. You know, however, you know, male, female, however it resonates for you. So let's see what else. We have orphaned, 5, which is about changed change so some of you may be feeling a little lonely right now i feel like some of you are feeling left out abandoned lonely left out the cold neglected uh, not getting attention and it could be friends family it could be love whatever but you're not really it's like you're not inwardly you're feeling that way but outwardly you're not giving off that um energy so you're hiding a lot here i feel to the sea. So seven is a divinely guided spiritual energy. Also a little bit of stagnancy. So some of you could be feeling like you need to go off and do something fun, exciting, different, go on vacation, go traveling, go on some sort of journey or make a change or move in a new direction. And it could be just a little something of adventure or it could be making a big change in your life. Maybe some of you thinking about moving as well. And we have Loyal Heart, 35, which is 8. Travel, action, communication, movement. I feel like, um, Gemini, I kind of feel like here, you know, you're trying to remain cool. Even though you have this all this energy built up inside. But I also, what I, what I don't, what I feel like you don't see coming is to the sea. I feel like this is something coming into you and a very, very loyal heart, and you may not see this coming. So you may be thinking of like escaping, I gotta get out, I gotta go try to do, I gotta try to do something new, make a change. Um, however that means for you, but actually what's coming in is a very loyal heart. And we have two people here, very wise energy, two people on the same page as well. Two people have the same sort of perspectives, wisdom, knowledge. Wow, because we have that owl energy here. All right, so it could be for some of you, you know, maybe somebody you were connected to, maybe they had to go away in the military, maybe they had to travel overseas. So there could be a distance between you and someone as well, and you're feeling very lonely at this time, but you're not really giving off that energy because you're not really sure how loyal this person is or if they're really going to come back. Um, to have this connection or if they're gone for good. I mean, that could be something that's going on as well. But we're going to see so many situations here, how this is going for you, Gemini. So let's see. Gemini, what is going on for Gemini? Everything you need to know, Gemini, is down below. Your playlist is down there and list of readings I do here. I brought my generals from my other channel here. You're still going to get a ton of love readings. Uh, some general mixed in and uh, just a lot more content on this channel. If you find something here doesn't resonate, I'm going to post again on my other channel, but I'm just doing three readings a week over there and they're just collective readings. So if something doesn't resonate here, you definitely can go there every Monday, Wednesday, Friday to see if a collective resonates for you. On Monday over there, I'll be doing a general collective. Wednesday will be a love collective and Friday will be a spirit message collective. So you definitely can check those out. All right. So let's see here for Gemini. So we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So feeling like a wish has not been fulfilled. The Queen of Swords in reverse. The Four of Wands in reverse. The Hermit. Ten of Cups. So you have the Ten of Cups right in the middle of your spread, which is good. So let's see. 
Two of Cups, upright, that's good. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I think there's some sort of change coming where something's been stagnant. It's about to change here. Five of Pentacles. There's that orphaned energy of the Five of Pentacles right here. In the Seven of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priest, which is the Hierophant in reverse. So we do have the Ten of Cups right in the middle of your spread. So you're thinking about your happy outcome here with the Ten of Cups because this is, says contemplation. So the Hermit is about going within. You're definitely a solo energy. You know, thinking, contemplating, wondering, healing, trying to go within. You're trying to find the answers here. I feel like you're, you're uh, contemplating someone's loyalty here with the Hierophant in reverse. So you're not quite sure how dedicated, how um, loyal this person is with the Hierophant in reverse. But we do have the Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups, so there's definitely a connection here. And again, it could be, I'm getting more love for some people, but it could be another type of connection where you're not sure if um, this is going to really test, uh, stand the test of time is what I'm feeling. Four of Wands in reverse can feel like it's an unstable energy right now. Queen of Swords in reverse not really feeling too clear about the whole situation. Uh, Nine of Cups in reverse, so definitely you're feeling like not really happy about this and like your wishes aren't coming true at this time. But you're still thinking about maybe trying to, maybe through meditation, manifestation, trying to bring in this uh, Ten of Cups, you know, the soulmate union or some sort of union here to have the ultimate happiness. If you do subtract this, you get the Eight of Cups. So definitely someone could be at a distance or has walked away for some reason. Could be an unforeseen reason or something beyond your control, their control. But with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is definitely something that's been stagnating is about to take place. Because that is about, you know, uh, investments, but now the investments are starting to pay off because it's in reverse. Five of Pentacles has that abandoned feeling, like, hmm, I just don't know. Seven of Wands is endurance here. Uh, usually that is, you know, boundaries, you know, self-defense, putting up boundaries, or maybe fighting for what we want. I feel like you fought for this. It's like you really want this, but yet you're not... You're trying to remain, like I said, cool-headed, but yet you're not so sure what is happening here. Ten of Swords in reverse. So there's something here that's not over. It's not over, not with the Ten of Swords reverse. I was going to mention the Two of Pentacles because the Five from the Seven is the Two of Pentacles, which we have right here. So there's a lot of unbalanced energy here, a lot of back and forth, pros and cons, not sure, trying to weigh out the energy, what's going to happen here. And the King of Pentacles in reverse, which could be about trust. Maybe you're not so sure you can trust this person to be loyal either while they're away, whatever's happening here. So you definitely could be worried about that. Then we have the Knight of Wands, Six of Swords. So I do feel like somebody's at a distance. Six of Swords can be, you know, maybe traveling in the Knight of Wands. Somebody could be... Um, Maybe they travel for a living, whatever they do that really, you know, they could be an explorer. They could be somebody who is um, very action orientated. Maybe they love adventure. So whatever they do could be very adventurous, uh, maybe about exploration, maybe something where they have to travel. Here, um, the Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling like um, you're not so sure about this, but... Let's see, we do have Sag showing up here, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo again. This could be you, Gemini, the Queen of Swords in reverse for me. It's Libra, but it could be you. So you're definitely not clear about this whole situation and what's going to happen at the end of this. You know, like I said, some of you um, right now could not be happy in your current home situation. We have the Four of Wands in reverse, so... Maybe you're just not happy with your current residence. You know, you're not liking where you're living. You want to get out. You're not feeling safe. You're not feeling secure. You're not happy either. So you're definitely contemplating. Maybe some of you live alone. Um, and you just, maybe you just want a roommate or you want somebody here to make you feel safe as well. And some of you, you definitely feel like you need to get out of the situation. Some of the pentacles in reverse because you feel, again, five of pentacles, like not, not a good energy here and you really have to be on defense on lookout 
really hold, hold your guard as well. And for some of you, if you're in that kind of situation where you're not happy where you are, you don't like being alone, you don't feel safe alone, even if it's like, oh God, I need change, I need someone I could trust, I need a roommate or somebody here where I feel safe, I, I don't like this energy of being alone, like where I am. And I don't think you're really giving off that energy to anyone. You're kind of like keeping that inside. So you're trying to remain cool, <laughs> you know, cool, cool headed. And, you know, but really what you want to do is get out of this situation. So, again, go so many ways here. Um, also, some of you could have your eyes set on somebody, but you're not feeling like they're noticing you either. Wow, so this could go so many ways, so many ways as well, Gemini. So you're going to have to take it out resonance for you. But we do have a Two of Cups here. So let's see if we get more information. Like what exactly is Gemini's story right now? Like what exactly is going on for Gemini? Most Gemini's watching this for March. What else do we need to know? What else is going on? What is the story? Like I want to get like a really defined story here. So let's see. What is this? Is about love? Is this about something else? Magician in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. Some of you, it could be about, you know, not feeling confident and successful at this time. Things aren't manifesting for you. What is that about? Nine of Swords in reverse. But it's about letting go of stress, worry, fear, anxiety. And getting yourself unstuck here with this hangman energy. So some of you definitely feel like you're stuck in a situation that you can't get out of and you're not happy about it you don't like it you don't feel safe you don't feel secure you don't trust the situation you definitely want that change but not quite sure how to make that happen but it is about letting go of stress fear worry anxiety and taking action you know gaining the enlightenment here definitely with the hierophant um the hermit and the hangman in reverse is definitely okay i have all the enlightenment i need all the introspection perspective I need now to take action in the right direction. I'm going to let go of that fear, stress, worry, anxiety, and turn the six of wands and the magician upright and make change that I need to make. So I have Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. That's you, Gemini, right there with the magician. Six of pentacles. So things balancing out here for you. So things will balance out. Now we have a page of pentacles. So this could be... Um, Maybe you're, you're going to find like a new apartment or a new house. This could also be um, maybe a raise, a promotion, maybe a new job and you're able to move, maybe making more money. Some, something that's going to help you relieve this energy of not being happy where you are. But you do have that loyal heart energy. So I definitely feel like um, yeah, something faded and destined is coming in for you as well. This could also be an offer of a date um, as well. But something destined here, fate, destiny, things moving in the right direction, could physically be moving, getting better, more money, six of cups. Hmm. And the moon. So if you're worried about, see, okay. So some of you are worried about this person coming back and they are coming back, six of cups. So the illusion, it's just an illusion. So don't feed the negative illusions that may be going through your head. That is for sure. Now we have a queen of wands. Did we see the King of Wands? No, we saw the Knight. So somebody could be like their own uh, entrepreneur, business owner. I don't think this person, uh, we have the devil in reverse. This person will not be tempted. No, they will not be tempted away from you. So that is good. That's in reverse. So we have Capricorn, Aries, Pisces, Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, and Capricorn. Hmm. This, you know, things are going to balance out here. So however this resonates for you, if you're if you're looking to move, I think something's going to come along your path. Page of Pentacles right here that's going to either give you the money to move or a new job or a promotion that is more money so you can change your circumstances. So something will be coming in for you to change your circumstances, whatever that means for you. Some of you, if you're worried about this person you know, if it's infidelity, if you're in separation or they're away right now, whether it's military, whether it's some sort of creative endeavors, whatever they're doing, they're, they are coming back and I don't think they're going to be swayed or tempted while they're away. So I don't think you have to worry about that because we do have a loyal heart here as well. 
All right, so let's say you are advice and guidance here. Advice and guidance here for Gemini. Advice and guidance here for Gemini. So let go of fear, stress, worry, anxiety. That is for sure. Things are going to start uh, moving. If you're feeling it's the energy's been stuck for too long. Eight of Wands in reverse, which means that somebody is coming back. You feel like things aren't moving forward. Someone's at a distance. They are coming back. And Ten of Wands. So this has been a very overwhelming situation. So if you subtract that, you would get the Two of Wands. So that's two opportunities, a new path. I don't feel like it's two opportunities, but a new path as well. Choosing a new path. Seven of Swords. So somebody's worried here about loss, deceit. But we have the Empress here. So don't, I'm feeling, don't give in to negative thinking of, of okay, they're going to deceive me. They're not going to be faithful. I feel like that's all illusion. We did see the Moon card. So it's a need to let go of that and know your value your worth and you know what you deserve and this person sees you as an empress too as well so you don't have to worry about that this could be rising up to being more of a leader making more money four of swords so whether it was rest and recovery now you can move out of that energy a feeling stagnant again strength here so this situation will be overcome whether it's getting out of a situation you're not happy in um something going on between you and your lover or they're at a distance and you're worried about that, the strength of the connection, it's a very strong connection here, cannot be denied. This person has willpower, determination, stamina, um, as well, and they can hold back. You know, they, they will not be tempted. That does overcome the devil, and the devil was in reverse as well. So, so let's see, we have uh, Leo, Libra Taurus. All right, so let's see here possible outcome for you Gemini I know this seems scattered all over the place but you know there's so many people watching this that every situation is different so let's see here for Gemini but the main energy is things are changed someone is will change someone is loyal you don't have to worry about that they are coming back it's a strong connection cannot be denied you are very strong new things are going to happen for you as well so we have the tower in reverse. Hmm. So this is something that cannot be destroyed. So the connection between this person cannot be destroyed because it does say destruction, but it's in reverse um, as well. So you will overcome. You know, you, you feel like this is like a never ending situation. King of Cups, there is a lot of love here. So treasure intuition, higher knowing. Um, as well understanding this person understands the connection between the two of you as well i feel like to somebody may understand your situation and come in here to help you out as well to get out of a situation you're not happy in if that makes sense for you as well it could be a parental figure but all is not lost here not with the uh tower in reverse so it's not this is not the end better things are coming and you and your person are going to come back together you know, they're going to come back. Things are going to be fine. So, five of swords. Yeah, that's not worried about conflict here. But we have the nine of pentacles and the fool energy. So, very stable ground energy here. Nine of pentacles. Some of you could be single. But you have a new beginning right here. Definitely. So, whatever conflict you're in, you're going to be very uh, stable, grounded, secure, having everything you need. A new beginning here as well. So, we have Aquarius showing up. Page of Wands in reverse. Six of Swords. Knight of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, better things are coming in. You know, you may get some news that you're not happy about, but things will work out for the best in the long run. We do have the Queen of Cups. We just see the King of Cups. So definitely um, it's a strong connection here. And we have Temperance backing that up. Soulmate connection here. Peace, harmony, joy, balance, healing, past lives, infinity. Just be a little more patient in your situation as well. That's Sagittarius energy. All right, so I know this is very scattered, but let's see what else um, wants to come out for you, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. 
So let's see. Oh, my left ear is, right ear is ringing. Oh my gosh, so loud right now. Okay. Gemini. It's definitely someone's story. No, wait, postpone, pause, say no. Hmm, okay. All right, let's see, why is that here? Imrama, where are you being called to journey to? So definitely some of you, definitely some of you have been wanting to, I said journey at the beginning, and we have to the sea. So some of you definitely have been wanting to go on a new journey, move in a new direction, try something new. And you feel like you're, you're always getting pushed back, like always that no feeling. But I feel like things are going to be changing. Definitely going from dark to light, that is for sure. Your person also, um, they, they're they going to say no to anything. So if you're worried, like if somebody, if they're at a distance and you're like, oh my God, you know, they're so attractive that they have people hitting on them. All the, this person is like, no, no, no. They see you at a distance. They know who the one is for them. The age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. I did say it's a lifetime connection here. Past lives. Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Hmm. For some of you, it could be a twin flame connection. Doesn't have to be. Um, some of you just taking a good long look in the mirror here. What is triggering you? To maybe feel orphaned. And you have the ability here to change direction here as well. All right, so what else? Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. I, I keep getting this energy going from dark to light. So where you felt orphaned, abandoned, left out in the cold, lonely, they're at a distance. Oh my God, maybe this is the end. No, just focus on the light. Focus on the light because things will change. Better things are coming in for you. New opportunities coming in for you. This person's coming back. It's a strong connection. A very light energy around this so don't give in to dark thoughts or dark energy because i see nothing but light here as well and a very loyal heart and the person coming back so take that how it resonates for you gemini all right gemini so i hope that helped resonate for someone again like i know i'm sorry it was very all over the place but what help that happens with the general readings anyway everything you need to know is down below your playlist list of readings if this didn't resonate you can go over to my other channel i do three general collectives a week monday is general wednesday is love and friday is spirit messages and they're all collective readings so something over there may resonate as well so i'm wishing you the best gemini and i shall see you next time